Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is my first video using Corel Paint, which I very seldom ever use. I use it for photographs and stuff. A, a lady sent me this picture, and she's fixing to buy these frames, and her customer wanted to see the text, what it would look like on the on the frame. So I, uh, and you could have done a better job than maybe I did. Uh, but you get the idea. We're not trying to do a photograph here. But the frame, the picture came in like this. My suggestion would be to double click on it and kind of rotate it a little more even with, and you can always bring down an indexing line and bring it um, to that line so you know you're just kind of even. And I'm not going to spend too much time, but that's pretty good. With this, with this picture selected, go up to Edit Bitmap, which will. Some of you are going to have a, a load icon to load into uh, Photo Paint or Corel Photo Paint, but I'm just going to, with this selected, double click on Edit Bitmap, and it's going to open the Paint program, and there it is, right there. It's, Corel Photo Paint. I'm going to enlarge it. I'm going to zoom in. And with the clone tool, and you can make it round. You can let, leave the pressure different, and you might play with that. But when you right click, then you can move your mouse over, and that's what you're going to be cloning. And then just start erasing this text. And what it's doing, that circle with the crosshairs, is where this where it's getting its color from. And you can right click and move that to another spot so you won't be getting any new uh, brush strokes. This is pretty cool. I'm not going to do the whole frame. But you can see how it works. And like I said, you could probably do a little bit better job of mine with pressure, with your pen pressure and, and uh, all kinds of, you know, all kinds of tools. I've just really never used it before. But you get the idea and you go with a square brush and always you can right click and then move your target away. And... It doesn't really do much because we've already cleared it out. But then you just go to Save As. And I'm going to save it as a bitmap. I'm going to actually change it to Frame Video. And I've already got one, so I'm not going to do it. And you'll save it. You'll go back into Corel Draw. And you can actually import it into Corel Draw, even though it's a Corel Draw file. So we're going to import. Mine is under pictures. And I'm going to go frame, frame for video, or frame for video, import, and voila, there it is again. And then, once you're in Corel Draw, and I would straighten it up again, it's a little bit crooked, because you're going to want to type your text on there, and then just get your text tool and type your text. And there's a lot of you can do with this. You could actually add perspective and you could send this to the customer. Let's rotate that just a little bit. And whenever you're having trouble rotating it just a minute, this is going counterclockwise. So we need to, let's put five degrees going the wrong way. Let's go 355 degrees. Too much. 358. Maybe 357, wrong way, 359, and you can get it appropriate. And from a distance, you can't really see the bleeding, and you can explain that to the customer. But that's what you, you know, you could pick your text, you could pick your font, and from them, and you could do your size, you know, tell them this is what, what it's going to look like, and then when you get your frame in, you can use that again. You know, calibrate that to make your own size. Anyway, 
I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.